boy oh boy do I have some awesome stuff to share with you guys this weekend from the garage sales. I ended up going out Friday and Saturday morning. Didn't stay out too long on these days, but I still found some awesome stuff. I got video games, vintage clothing, some awesome hard goods. It's just a good variety of stuff to show you this weekend, so I can't wait to share it with you. And if you end up enjoying videos like this one and want to see more of them, go down low, hit that thumbs up button for me, and consider subscribing to my channel. I put out multiple videos every single week just like this one. Now, let's hop into some garage sales. Do you have the charger for that? Uh, no. Uh, well, I could go look, but I don't think I do. I'll go look real quick. Okay. I gotta wait for my wife to come out here. How, uh, how much was it? Uh, 30. How you guys doing? I'll do 30 on it. Okay. Um, I'll let the uh, cord for you. That's fine. I'll wait for my wife to come out here. You don't have any games for it, do you? I can go look. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Is there anyone like you're looking for? Just and whatever you got, yeah. you can anyone? pull it out. Yeah. I'll, I'll wait for you. Yeah, I'll wait for her to come out and I'll uh, go look. Cool. You like like Pokemon games? Yeah. Smash, Bro Smash Bros and Mario, Mario Kart, Kart, the original. Yeah, cool. That's not um, the newest one. That's like the original. Yeah. Uh, let me go see if I got a quarter real quick. All right. You said you couldn't find the Pokemon ones? No, unfortunately not. I, let me go look at my, see if I got that cord. Okay. Perfect. Cool. I'm. What were we, were we asking the PlayStation One? Uh, for everything with the cord and the games, like thirty-five. Um, yeah. And then Pokemon Platinum. Cool. So thirty-five for all that. Is that cool? Um. Uh, yeah. Cool. cool. I'll do that. That works. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Let's see what we got. This is a bunch of random cords of random stuff. And this. Oh yeah. You got that laying around, do you? I do. Uh, just can't really get rid of it. Yeah, don't blame you. Yeah. Kind of really you don't. attached to the 64 stuff too? Pretty attached. It's a Pikachu one, so. Oh, is it? Yeah. Like when I was like five. That's it. That's something that'd be interesting if you want to get rid of it. If not, no big deal. Yeah. Maybe a couple years, but unfortunately, I still pretty attached. Yep, oh. that's it. Oh, perfect. Okay. Look at cool. that. Perfect. Yep. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate no problem, it. Man. You have a good one. Yeah, uh, no problem. Next time we have another one come back, I might be ready to sell that. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you want to bring it out, I'll make you an offer on what you got. Yeah. The 64 I'm going to hold on to. Okay. That's the Pikachu one. But this, <laughs> this I yeah, it all stickered up. It's all stickered up. Uh, it's got the Mario Bros. In 3 in there and everything. Uh, <clears throat> And I think I have the, all the cords too. Is that the only game you got for it? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I probably haven't touched this and looks like it's been a while, obviously. Yeah, it is. Yeah, <laughs> covered in stickers. Um, yeah, I don't really have any games for it. Um, I think I have a Game Boy SP. Yeah, that'd be something. All right. Yeah, anything like that, man. Yeah. Uh, I got this, and then I got Pokemon Red. Oh, perfect. Yeah, it'd be great. Yeah. Cool. A couple little scratches on it. Doesn't have really have the, only the adapter for this. Yeah, I go. I, I was gonna say like fifty. That works. Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's cool. Yeah, cool. And then uh, if you ever want to sell that. Uh, the N64, oh, well, um, I can give you my number and stuff yeah, if you want. Yeah, no, for sure. 
Uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I'll let you know, man, for sure. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I appreciate you uh, yeah. getting that stuff out for me. Absolutely. Yeah. There you go, my man. You. I'm, that's like those ones pretty cool yeah they got the old tags on them yeah i figured the olympics is going on right now so atlanta i'll grab that one it's a cool looking one i'm surprised That looks like it'll so good, but he wants 170. That one? Yeah. Did you look this one up? No. There was another one on that shelf. Over there. I saw that Maybe one. He moved that over. The, the amp <laughs> over there. Go for like 300. Don't you just don't know if it works. works. Yeah, I'm going to take a much. chance on it for 75. 170. Oh, 170. All right, I got a little pile over here. Oh, okay. Right, there's guys, a couple games under here. Oh, my turntable feet, where'd you find those? <laughs> Do you need them? I'll I was, keep them. Okay, <laughs> they were in the bag over there Sorry. with the, there was like a mic equipment and stuff. Sorry. And I was like, oh. A bag I, hate to, I hate to be that way. I, oh, it's okay. Uh, no. I'm an audio guy. That's that's my. Oh, I noticed deal. with yeah, all the stuff in there. I was yeah, like, I'm a big audio I, guy. I, I, and people that. always lose those. That's why I picked. That's why I yeah. grabbed them. I was like, oh, but no nice problem. Them. Yeah, the charger's fine. The Sennheiser charger. You didn't um, have the puck to that, did you? Do like 15? Sure. Cool. And then I'll, I'll put your yeah, seat. I got there it. was actually a realistic foot in there too. Um, oh no, I just want the audio technical ones. Okay. These are for my 1200. I'm yeah, I, 1200. I saw them in there. I was like, people always lose that yeah, stuff. No so. problem, no problem.
Like I said, we got some great stuff this weekend. I'm going to go through it all right now with you guys, starting with this nice little vintage video game lot. So as you guys saw in that video, I walked up to the sale and he had a couple video game related things sitting out on a table. He had some PlayStation 4 games, he had a PS1 sitting out, but the thing that caught my eye was this. This is a Nintendo 3DS and it's in really good shape. He didn't have the charger or any game sitting out with it. So I asked him how much it was. He said $30. So I was happy to pay that for this. These end up going right around 140 bucks over on Amazon. So I told him I was going to buy the 3DS off of him and this is where things get interesting. I asked him if he had the charger for it or any games for it that he didn't have sitting out and he said, yeah, hold on, I think I do have a few games, maybe a few Pokemon games laying around. So I got my hopes up a little bit. Well, he ended up coming back out with two different games. He had Super Smash Brothers on the 3DS, not a bad title at all. And then another pretty good one, Mario Kart DS. And then in the meantime, while he was inside looking for the Nintendo DS games, I decided to take a look at what else he had sitting out on the table, see if I couldn't scrounge together a little uh, side pile of stuff that I might be interested in. And this is what I came up with. I ended up getting the PS1 console. It has the cords and one controller with it and a memory card. I got two PS1 games, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 and Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1. Both of those discs and everything are inside. And then finally, uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim for the PlayStation 4. Not a huge game, it's like 15 bucks over on Amazon. So that's what I had set aside to see what he would do on all that. And then additionally, like I said, he brought out the two DS games. I put all of that stuff together and asked him what he would want. And he said like 30 or 35 bucks. And I was completely cool with that. But this deal doesn't end there. When I was paying him for the PlayStation 1 stuff, I decided to ask one more time, hey, are you sure you don't know where that charger is or any of those Pokemon games that you were talking about or any other video game stuff, even older stuff? I'm interested in that if you're interested in selling it. And he said, well, I do have a Pokemon N64, which I didn't end up getting. He didn't want to get rid of that. I also have a Nintendo original, and I think I have a Game Boy laying around if you're interested. And obviously, I said, yeah. So he walked back inside for a third time and he ended up coming out with a few more goodies. He came out with Pokemon Platinum on the Nintendo DS and this is an authentic version. I checked it to make sure it is authentic and this is like a $100 game. On top of that, he came out with the Game Boy SP and Pokemon Red version with it. What, <laughs> if, if I didn't ask for this, I would have never known he had it. And he came through once again. He pulled out the original Nintendo. You can see it has a bunch of vintage stickers on it. That is really cool to see. Stickers are something normally that I would clean off the NES before I sell it. But these are just too cool. I think I'm going to just sell it with those vintage stickers on it. And it had Super Mario 3 on the inside. Pretty good game. It's like a $15 game. It had all of the cords ended up being with it and two controllers. So what a great thing for him to pull out. And in the end, when he pulled all of this stuff out, I ended up paying another $50 for this stuff. So in total, I paid the guy $110 for everything that I ended up getting. And I ended up giving him my number in case he ended up finding anything else that he wanted to sell. And in case he ended up wanting to sell that Pokemon N64 in the future. And that ended up being the only street sale that I ended up going to on Friday. Now I'm going to move into Saturday's haul, which again, deals with some video games as well as some other stuff. The first sale that I stopped at on Saturday was a little multifamily sale. There was two houses across the street from each other that had stuff. And I'm pretty sure the one guy was like a flea market vendor or something like that. I got there a little bit early before it opened. And when I pulled up, my buddy Shad Juice was already there. And he already had found a whole tin, a bin full of some video game stuff. So I was confident that there was going to be some good stuff at this sale. Now, the first thing that I ended up finding were a couple of vintage hats. The first one and the one that I'm most excited about is this vintage Cincinnati Cyclones hat. It is brand new with tags. I've done really, really well with vintage Cyclone stuff in the past, and this is their older logo, so that one should do really well. Then I grabbed two different Olympic hats. This one is the Atlanta 1996. I've actually sold that exact hat a few times before. And then a brand new with tags Olympic hat, again, Atlanta 1996. I haven't sold this one before, but I figured hey, it's new with tags and the Olympics are going on right now. That's probably going to sell pretty well. 
And then we've got a vintage Notre Dame hat right here. I'm pretty sure that my buddy will be interested in this one, so that'll probably be sold by the time you see this video. And then we got a brand new, with tags, New York White Sox, like Tasmanian Devil Looney Tunes collab, and it's brand new with the tags. That one was just pretty cool, so I wasn't going to leave it there. Then the guy running the garage sale ended up pulling out a box full of movies and DVDs, and there were a few video games in there, including three PSP games. We got Grand Theft Auto, Liberty City Stories, we got Crash Tag Team Racing, and Crash Bash, all on the PSP. And then there were also a couple PlayStation 2 games. Now, there was only one that I picked up that was complete in the box, and that is NFL Street 2. If you guys don't know, some of the NFL Street games are worth picking up. There's some of the few sports games on, like, the PlayStation 2 that are worth it. I think this is, like, a $20, $15, $20 game. And then there were a few loose PlayStation 2 games as well that I decided to throw in. We got Dragon Ball Z Ultimate Battle 22, Spyro Ripto's Rage, and finally Crash Team Racing on the PlayStation 2. And that was all the video games I pulled out of that DVD box. However, a few boxes down, I found a random Sega Genesis game, and that is Revenge of Shinobi. That's actually a pretty good random Genesis game to find, because this is like a $30 game, which is surprising, because a lot of Genesis stuff that's loose just doesn't have a ton of value. So if I was going to find a loose cart, I'm glad it was one like this. Also, as a little side note, I got caught slipping at this sale. I went through that box that had all the hats and stuff in it, and apparently buried way down at the bottom, I must have just glanced right by it because I missed it was Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo and Shad Juice ended up scoring it and showing me what he found but that is something that I just I, I must have just glanced right by because I had no idea it was in there and then I also got a few little smalls as well little hard good throw-ins the first of which is this Sennheiser headphones charging base Sennheiser is a great brand to look for look for the headphones look for the microphones great audio brands and even charging bases like this without the headphones themselves or without any wires can still have value I think I looked this up and it was going for around 20 bucks maybe a little north of 20 bucks not bad for just the charging base also when I was paying he ended up throwing in a Sennheiser microphone case as well because why not and then the last little thing that I got as a throw in was in this little green box right here it's probably not worth a ton but it was this little Chinese like green stamp thing it's probably some kind of souvenir or something on the bottom it says Michelle down there on the bottom again probably not worth a ton I just thought it was cool so yeah but I ended up paying 15 bucks for all of that stuff total. I should make that back on just one of those hats alone. Everything else on the video games and everything is going to be pure profit. And then moving on to the final sale of the day, I got quite a few things at this one as well. The first of which that I saw was this Le Creuset teapot. If you guys don't know this brand, Learn It. That is a great brand of kitchenware to learn. They do like enamel Dutch ovens and stuff that sell for like 200 bucks plus. This is like a normal used teapot, but still, this is probably a 30 to $40 teapot. I also ended up grabbing a little iPod Nano. This little 8 gigabyte version one. They had it marked at $5. And then the only other little electronic that I found were these two little Amazon Alexa smart hubs for five bucks. Then I made my way over to the clothing and found quite a few good things, including this Stetson boonie cap. Stetson is a great brand to look for when it comes to hats, specifically like the cowboy hats and stuff do very, very well. This Stetson boonie cap, probably not worth a ton of money, maybe like 20, 25 bucks. I also ended up grabbing this Polo Ralph Lauren Harrington jacket. These jackets do very, very well, especially during the winter and fall time. This one is black and it has the flannel lining on the inside. That's like a $40 jacket. And then one more jacket, a Nike golf jacket. This is just a golf windbreaker. Not worth as much as the other jacket, but that's still a solid 25 bucks. And now the best part of the sale were definitely the two pairs of boots that I ended up picking up. The first of which is this pair of Red Wings right here. Great brand to look for. If you guys don't know about Red Wings, they are fantastic boots that sell for very good money. New, these are probably like $250 boots. And these look like they were barely worn. I mean, look at that. The tread on the bottom, like nothing. There's like no wear to the actual leather itself. These are just in really, really good shape. I'm going to guess that these are probably $100, if not $125 pair of boots right here. But this other pair of boots is also a really, really good pair. These right here, I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact pair of boots before. These are L.L. Bean Chippewa boots. If you can see down there, it says Chippewa on the sole and on the inside. These have the model number, if you want to look them up, of O-D-R-Y-9. And I'm pretty sure I've sold this exact pair for over 100 bucks before. So that's two pairs of $100 plus boots from the same sale. And guess what I ended up paying for everything? That's right. 
I paid $40 for all of that stuff right there. I'm gonna make that money back just on the tea kettle alone. Everything else is just gravy. So, like I said, not the biggest weekend of sales, but the stuff that I got from the sales was quality, and I am super happy with the haul that we got. Let me know down in the comments, what was your favorite item that I ended up picking up this week? Did you learn anything from this video? I would love to hear it. Otherwise, that's going to wrap things up for now. I hope that you guys all enjoyed this video. Be sure to go down low, hit that like button for me, and subscribe to my channel for more. Otherwise, thank you all for watching. Till next time, keep on treasure hunting. Peace.